Welcome to the local history room of the Kingston Frontenac Public Library in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Our library system consists of 16 branches which are located throughout the City of Kingston and Frontenac County. The local history room is on the second floor of the Central Branch at 130 Johnson Street in downtown Kingston. One of the most heavily used collections in the local history room is the set of Kingston City Directories. The directories cover the years 1855 to 2001. They're kept in the glass special collections cabinet along the Johnson Street wall. Staff will be happy to unlock the cabinet for you. To learn more about special collections, check out Quick Tour number one. The earliest city directories are available both in print and online. The later ones haven't yet been digitized. It's easy to access the online ones from the Digital Kingston website. Just scroll down and click a date to open the relevant directory. The book will open on your screen. To search for a name, click the magnifying glass. It's best to type just one word, for example the surname. All instances of the word will appear in the left-hand column where you can click to jump to the correct page. Your search term will be highlighted in purple. In this instance, the search result takes us to the street index of the directory. In this part of the directory, residents are listed according to their street addresses. The odd-numbered houses are in the left-hand column and the even-numbered houses are on the right. Not every year of the city directory includes a street index, but there's always an alphabetical index. In this case, our keyword search didn't give a result for the alphabetical index. However, we can browse the directory by dragging the white dot across the bottom of the screen. Two instances of the word night are highlighted on this page of the alphabetical index, but for Archibald's entry, ditto marks were used to represent his surname. That's why his name didn't turn up in our keyword search. The entry in the alphabetical index includes more information than the one in the street index. This one lists information about his occupation. Also in the alphabetical listing, we can see another knight living on Alice Street. This is Archibald's daughter Phyllis, who was a music teacher. The city directories do not list every residence, only those who are wage earners. Archibald's wife didn't work outside the home, so she and any children in the household aren't listed in the directory. For copyright reasons, the city directories from 1924 onward are not yet available online. You're welcome to consult the print copies that are available in the Special Collections Cabinet anytime the Central Library is open. City directories were not published every year, and on the Digital Kingston site there's a list which shows which years are available. The city directories ceased publication after 2001. Also on the Digital Kingston page, you'll find some links to collections of city directories from other cities. A newer site called Ancestor Hunt has an excellent list of links to free online city directories. It's a huge list and includes cities throughout Canada and the United States. The link is in the description box below this video. Phone books are similar to city directories, but they tend to be used less often because the entries don't give quite as much information as the city directories. At the very end of the shelving sequence in the Special Collections Cabinet are phone books dating back to the 1930s. Phone books from even farther back are available on microfilm. The reels are located at the very end of the microfilm shelving sequence, after the newspaper microfilms. These reels include phone books from towns throughout eastern Ontario, not just Kingston, and they cover the years 1884 to 1979 with a few gaps. These 16mm microfilms are narrower than the others in our collection, but they work fine in the KFPL microfilm readers and no special adjustments are necessary. To learn about the microfilm collection, see Quick Tour number 8. This concludes our introduction to the local history room at KFPL. We hope this quick tour has been helpful. As always, we welcome your questions and comments. You can reach us through our website at www.kfpl.ca. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your research.